Let's switch over to the big story they were tracking here on 6 p.m. Prime. The violence that was unleashed on the streets of Amritsar by Khalistani ideologue Amrit Pal Singh and his supporters after he openly threatened the Punjab government to drop cases against him and his aides or face the consequences. The Man government, believe it or not, has actually buckled under that pressure. The Punjab police is all set to let off Amrit Pal's aide, Lovepreet Tufan. Uh, the police have confirmed saying that Tufan will be discharged an SIT will be set up, law will take its own course. Amrit Pal Singh had issued a one-hour deadline to the authorities saying, if you don't drop the charges, you will have to deal with the consequences. And the Man government, instead of cracking down further on Amrit Pal Singh, has given in to his demand. His aid is now going to be let off. Kamaljit Sandhu is joining us live with more details on this. Kamaljit, this is shocking. One hour, Amrit Pal Singh has given us a deadline and dutifully within one hour, the announcement comes from the Punjab police that his aid will be released. Well, you know, there is an old Hindi saying, Ulta Chor Kotwal Ko Dante. So here is a person who is under suspicion, uh, who is there a case against and he is the one who is dictating terms uh, to Punjab police and obviously a shocking turn of events. Because Amrit Pal Singh is actually blaming the police for the violent turn of events, saying uh, that's not his men who turned violent, but it was Punjab police, and that 20 of his men were violent, uh, were, were injured in that particular violence. Now the entire case is off based on a 15th, where an FIR was registered, where Amrit Pal as well as his uh, associate Lapreet Tufan, uh, who had been named, and obviously Tufan had been arrested. After which all this has now really erupted into this entire matter. Uh, but Amrit Pal doing a, a strong, strong arm tactics, uh, getting in as many supporters as possible. And that is where Punjab police did look like it was on a back foot. Uh, remember, things have been on a simmer uh, since a very long time. Amrit Pal has been making very provocative speeches. Uh, the last one he made was in Amritsar, uh, where he spoke at due comparison with Indira Gandhi, uh, trying to contain Khalistani movement as well as uh, trying to draw in comparison with Prime Minister Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah. Now, this mm -hmm. is something which has not really gone down well. Now, intelligence agencies have been raising a red flag, have been warning Punjab police and the government, talking about a strict action which needs to be taken against such elements. Uh, his open threat as well yeah. as open talk about Khalistan propagating it. Uh, but meanwhile, we see Amrit Pal who's been extremely uh, defiant. He says True. there are several people who are talking about Hindu Rashtra. So what is wrong if we talk about Khalistan? No, and, and this is a man, here's here's come a man to Kamaljeet, who's remember, made a comment as you pointed out with a threat saying you will meet the same fate as Indira Gandhi. And he's out free, no action taken against him. Instead, his demands are being met right now as we speak.